Hello, welcome to my review of episode 1, season 2, The Mandalorian. I have been looking forward to this for a while. I enjoy season 1 very much, just as most of us did, right? So I just finished watching the first episode, and this is going to be a spoilers review, so if you haven't seen it, come back after you watch the episode. I will give this one a 7 out of 10, okay? First, it pretty much kept up with the western theme you have you know the Mandalorian going to Tatooine meet the sheriff and then of course agree to help the sheriff out in getting rid of some danger in exchange to get the the armor back and that's okay Okay, that's, you know, if you watch enough Western movies, that's a very common theme, Magnificent Seven kind of thing. So, that's okay. Um, for sure, I think the budget for Season 2 may got a little bit more money because it seems like there's a lot more CGI, especially the little baby, little Yoda. He got more screen time, but uh, not a whole lot of action from him besides being very cute in many of the scenes. For sure... One of the good things about this episode is the closure on Boba Fett. Now that we see his armor, he's gone. Okay, <laughs> There's no doubt that when he fell into that sandworm hole, he's gone. So I like that. I like how the armor play into the overall story arc. What I like about the episode is, of course, getting to know more about the sand people, right? This is the, the most that we have ever get to see the sand people and how they behave and and all of that can we see more would i like to see even more sure but it's nice to see something that we have seen in so many star war movies over the past many decades but for the first time we get to see a little bit more of their surrounding their world so that was nice um the final battle that was okay okay the whole plan how they you know how they try to kill the dragon it, it's okay the best part of the final battle is of course the Mandalorian and the sheriff the marshal flying around with the backpack but as far as the rest of the action I wouldn't be standing around trying to shoot that dragon with that rifle okay because it's useless uh, even the harpoon I'm not sure what the point was with the harpoon because that thing can just yank you and pull you and toss you around. So a lot of the plan of what they're doing, why it's fun to watch, certainly didn't make a whole lot of sense. But as far as you know, trying to kill that creature from within, that makes more sense. So I'm all okay with the final plan by the Mandal Mandalorian. I do like to see the two of them flying around with their jetpack. That's a lot of fun to watch. Ultimately, it's a fun episode to watch, okay? It's not, not much has was revealed as far as new things. You know, there, there was, you don't see any of the other characters like, you know, Moff Gideon or Gina Carano, uh, Carol Dune um, characters. So you, you don't see anybody else from the first season yet. And that's part of my score is for giving 7 out of 10. This episode didn't really advance the story. To me, it's just a segue into tattooing and have a little fun with the Sand Dragon. I look forward to episode 2. I hope we get to see more and advance the story further. And that's my review. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.